What's up guys, D-Dubs Garage. We're back again, and then this one we're doing another Saab Tech episode. So, on this one, we're gonna basically throw parts at the thing, and I'm gonna give you guys a reason as to why I'm doing this repair now, even though it seems like I might not have to. So especially recently, I've been having an issue with the Saab that drives me insane. <laughs> it, uh, it has the most squealy rear brakes in the world, I've done pads and rotors. I even did calipers recently, just in case, because this this Saab in particular has the type of caliper where the brake mechan or the parking brake mechanism is actually built into the caliper itself. So it was it was decent um, preventative maintenance to just go ahead and do them anyway. Um, but basically, it continues to squeal. I hate it. It's honestly for me, especially as a car guy, it's really embarrassing when you pull up somewhere and it's just you know squealing away. Um, but that's not the main problem. The main problem I've been having, guys, is uh, you can sit in the Saab, and uh, when you're at a light, and you're just hanging out, you can basically stand on the brakes and actually bring them all the way to the floor, which obviously isn't a good thing. But what's odd is it still stops pretty well. It's not like when you're driving the pedal goes to the floor. So that's kind of an odd issue I've been having, but I noticed when I would do that, because there were a couple times at lights I would just pump it up just to like see what would happen when I took off. And I could actually hear the rear brakes were slightly grabbing, which is a little strange. So here's my theory. It could be completely off and we're gonna find out after we do a master cylinder on this thing. Um, I think what's happening is the master cylinder is actually leaking internally. Luckily, it hasn't gone into the booster yet, I don't think, because that's a big problem if you guys let that go. Uh, it can actually rot out the bottom of the booster and that just basically turns your at least somewhat simple job into a bigger one. Um, so I think that that is causing basically too low of a pressure in the back because when you get squealing, that's actually your pads not quite contacting right. So I think what's happening is it's not sending enough pressure to the back because with the proportioning valve, your pressure is always higher in the front anyway. So I think that's why I'm only hearing squealing from the rear brakes and mostly the right rear, which is actually the furthest away from the master cylinder. So that would add to my theory. I don't know if it's correct, but I am a little bit worried about the pedal sinking when it's running in and just sitting at idle. So. Either way, I think this will be a really good idea to go ahead and just get this done, especially as a preventative thing. I bet it's original, and with 169,000 miles on it, it can't be a bad idea. So, we're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna show you guys the tools you need to do this, and uh, we're also gonna throw the winter wheels on the Saab. So, come along with me, and uh, let's do this. This is a funny thing. I'm not sure if it's only with my Saab, so I wanna ask the internet if you guys have any opinions on this or you have the same thing. Basically, when you turn this Saab on, the HIDs are always on. The running, like it doesn't matter if you turn it to the off switch. I don't know if I have like a short to power somewhere, um, but it's really odd. Like it, nothing changes when I change these from off to on. Um, so that's just something I was wondering if you guys have run into a Saab, if that's something that has is like a problem for you guys. Um, I just thought that was interesting. So let me know in the comments. They holding back 
they wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these things I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath, I'd rather leave them be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Just got the old master off of there. Something you guys may have to do is reuse the reservoir. So I kept that, I'm gonna give it a little clean up before I get it together. But now it's time to put this all together and then get it back in the car. have it. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. Got the winner set up on there. Just had my brother help me bleed the brakes. 
I'm gonna go test drive and make sure everything's cool. Just some good preventative maintenance there. And it's always good to flush the brake fluid through. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.